quarter inch steel. It's, it's you, you know it's extremely heavy, and um, and it's very difficult, very difficult to bend. You can't bend this without some kind of tremendous force. This isn't aluminum. Yeah, I don't know. yeah that's steel. This is solid steel, it's quarter inch steel. Which is part iron and part what? Yeah. Um, well, it's iron. It's, it's cold roll steel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is iron. It's, it's... Anyway, um, <laughs> here, let me get the camera. I'll take, take oh, you sorry. looking. I want to get you examining. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the chemical compound. I am metallurgist. What do I look like? I'm information booth? This happened on my birthday six years ago. <laughs> September 26th. Yeah. How ironic. <laughs> Everybody that sees that and knows anything about these bottles or steel or metallurgy says, wow, I've never seen anything like that. So what happened? Did it get hot and good? No, it didn't. Wow, there was no fire. There was no, uh, there was no ignition. What happened was a phenomenon known as a rust worm ate its rust? way, a little rust worm, uh. microscopic rust, rust worm ate its way up the length of the bottle wow. until it weakened the seam oh, that it was creating that. so much okay. that it instantly yeah. opened up. Is that the kind of same kind of rust worms that are eating up the Titanic on the bottom of the Atlantic? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, the, uh, might not. I'm not sure what's going on with the Titanic. I was Titanic. just wondering, but uh, you know, it's getting eaten alive by these little bacteria.